Hello everyone and welcome in. Hope everyone is doing well. Positive healing vibes to all the subscribers, the viewers, and the world out there. Today we're looking into Aries weekly love message for the upcoming week. If you find the message is helpful or resonating with your situation, please give it a thumbs up. Also, guys, if you like the vibe, how I interpret the cards, you're more than welcome to subscribe to the channel. Everyone's welcome here, and it does help to set intentions for future messages. So let's dive in here, see what we can see for your upcoming energy for this week. I can see clearly now the rain is gone. Something is coming through clearly. Feel here, Aries, there's a situation here where you're seeing this from all sides of the coin, from all perspectives. I want to say this is a particular person here, Aries, that you've distanced yourself from. So at this moment, you're not talking to this person. But I feel like this person is going to come back around you and this person are going to cross paths. It's almost as if you're... Giving this person the benefit of the doubt is what I will say. Because I feel like you're willing... This was an intense connection. This was someone who you had a very intense connection with. And I feel like this person had caused some sort of discord in your life where you had needed space, needed a break, uh, needed to disconnect from this person. The problem is there's still this lover's energy, this soul tie connection energy. So this person was meant to be in your life. There was a significant message, a significant lesson that you needed to learn from this person. When this person comes back around, it is going to be a test. A test to see if the lesson has been learned. We're going to clarify all of this here in a moment. But I feel like there is a need to utilize this opportunity for closure. And not to entertain this relationship again. Okay, so let's clarify now, if you find the messages helpful or resonating again, guys, give it a thumbs up. It boils down to Aries. Has the lesson been learned? Has the message been received? Let's clarify this Queen of Swords, the Hermit energy, the Ace of Swords. I feel like you've been spending a lot of time alone trying to figure this out. This person stepped out of the connection. There was third party energy all over this. The Seven of Swords, this is lies, this de is deception, this is cheating. I definitely feel like this person cheated on you, okay? Made you connect, question the connection. Was this really worth it? Did this person really, truly view me as their partner? Or was I just another notch on their belt? Again... The Eight of Wands. We're going to put these cards back, re-clarify this Four of Wands, the Eight of Pentacles, the Lover's Energy. But I definitely feel like there's a need to close this chapter out. The lesson has been learned. The message has been received. You have accepted that this is over and it's time to move forward from this. This person has not. And that's why this keeps coming up. That's why this person keeps coming back around. They haven't accepted this ending. They haven't accepted that this is over. It's time to put the final nail in the coffin. So let's clarify this Ace of Wands, the Eight of Wands, the Judgment. So in order to free yourself from this particular situation, it's time to say what you need to say. It's time to speak what's on your heart. And that doesn't mean only focus on the bad stuff. Find a balance in the message, okay? And I always recommend for clients to start with positive, the positive energy. So 
there were a lot of good times. We did have a lot of positive memories. However, there are also a lot of negative things that happened between you and I where I don't feel like this can be resolved. And I don't feel like going back through this again. I don't want to take the chance. I'm standing my ground and I'm moving forward. But you have to stand up for yourself. Because the Queen of Pentacles, when it comes out in the reverse, it tells me that you're kind of indecisive, um, uncertain, standing on shaky ground about releasing this person. And for some of you, maybe you haven't. Maybe you're in this position of, I am moving forward. F the past. We're moving forward and not looking back. So trust your intuition. However, I feel like there is a need to free yourself from this situation. The lesson has been learned. The message has been received. There's no sense in going through this again. Let's pull a few cards for your advice, guidance, moving forward. Thank you guys again for all the love and support. Thank you for liking, subscribing, sharing the content. If you're interested in a personal reading, the information is all linked below in the description box. Aries, the world energy is present in the advice. The world energy, whenever it comes out, the message has been received. The lesson has been learned. It's time to move forward from all of this, okay? This person is coming back in the same energy. Secrets, things that are hidden, things that you're not aware of. And even if they aren't, you are still questioning. Trust your intuition. Your inner guidance mechanism will never steer you wrong. Don't keep entertaining past BS, past drama, past cheating, lying, deception. You know what they say, once a cheater, always a cheater. Trust that. People don't change their... A zebra doesn't change its stripes. Right? Your four truths message coming out for your reading is don't make assumptions. Discern the truth. The problem with making assumptions is that we believe they are the truth. We make an assumption. We misunderstand. We take it personally. And then we react by sending emotional poison with our words. This creates a whole big drama for nothing. Discern the truth. Beautiful, beautiful. So Aries, I feel like that's a good solid message. Be mindful with your words, but close out this chapter and positively move forward. Thank you guys again for all the love and support, and I look forward to seeing your beautiful souls again soon. Namaste.